golfers and coaches deep in here from RenegadeGolfTraining.com. In today's video, I'm joined by James, our head coach of Human Form Fitness. We're going to go over the Turkish get up. And you may be asking, what do Turkish people know about golf? Well, I'll tell you what, this is a, a prime example of an exercise that looks nothing like the golf swing. However, it includes and improves many elements that are crucial for the golf swing. Which ones, you may ask? Good question. Strength, stability, mobility, and proprioception, right? The, the ability to actually hold tension throughout your body and in, induce the movement patterns you need with range of motion. So James is gonna go over this uh, crucial exercise that I, I want you to experiment with. It also, it has some variety. It's a very unique exercise, and many of you have never done this one before. So we're gonna break this up into two videos, actually, because it is a rather complex movement. Once you get it, though, it's super cool. So I'm gonna, uh, hand it over to James here. He's going to go over Turkish Get Up Part 1. Alright, so we're going to be on the floor for this Get Up. Yeah. There's obviously there's kettlebells, dumbbells, and there's uh, a bare hand to get used to the motion. Okay. So we're going to go over just with the hand how this would look for a setup. You're going to lay on your back, knee on the same side arm you'll be using will be up. Okay? So you don't want to get this backwards because you won't be able to actually go anywhere. So pick a leg, put that same side arm up, you'll be back on the floor, arm and leg will be parallel, and you're going to have the arm up, you're going to roll yourself over and not crunch. Okay? Your first instinct is going to be try to crunch up and you're not going to actually go anywhere. So you're going to roll to the side, this arm will be pressing the floor away, shoulder will be engaged and directly in the socket. You don't want to roll forward, you don't want to kind of halfway lean back there. So nice strong shoulder, floor pressed away, this hand can be straight up to the ceiling, knuckles pointed up, and you should be able to hold that nice and controlled. And then you just work yourself right back into your back, okay? Arm out, roll yourself up and over, okay? This shoulder is super important, so really make sure you can get that strong shoulder and hand up, okay? Once you control that motion, you're gonna take a dumbbell or a kettlebell here. We're gonna start with the kettlebell. You ideally, you're gonna wanna start it on your side, hand in, comes to your chest and press it. So if you can't press the weight comfortably, it's gonna to be too challenging, okay? So you'll be here, arm down, roll, press, strong shoulder, hand up. Okay, go ahead and hit a few reps with that. Back, down, and up, okay? Everything will look the same with the dumbbell, okay? Dumbbell just goes in your hand. It's a little more comfortable and it's a lot easier on your wrist and your setup. Okay, it's probably more accessible for most people as well. So you'll be here, everything's the same. Rolling up, strong shoulder, eyes up, and then control the motion back to the floor. Weight comes down, lower it under control. That's all for the partial get up, and we'll start to cover the full get up next week. All right, so that is the conclusion of our Turkish get up video part one. You need to practice that quite a bit, get proficient at it. Look in the next week or two for video number two, in which uh, Kettlebell King James is going to demonstrate the full Turkish get up. So until next time, let's get after old man part.